Let's talk about some differences between the tale of Ragnar's sons and the saga of Ragnar Lothbrok. Now, the translation of the tale of Ragnar's sons by Ben Wagoner is found in Hawksbok, written in the early 1300s by the Icelander Hawker Erlandsson. Now, I am not going to divulge what Ben Wagoner puts in his notes. I really suggest getting a hold of this book. The Sagas of Ragnar Lothbrok by Ben Wagoner. The notes alone are really brilliant. You've got the saga of Ragnar Lothbrok, obviously, Krakamal, the tale of Ragnar's sons. And wanting to make a short series within the saga of Ragnar Lothbrok on this channel, it was mainly because looking through it, you see sort of some noticeable differences in this tale to what appears in the saga and I'm just gonna sort of go through them in case you haven't watched the whole playlist I mean there's 50 videos now um, and it's not necessarily everyone's cup of tea so one of the first differences in this tale compared to the saga is that Ragnar's sons are taking over parts of Ragnar's kingdom before he's even finished securing the whole of his kingdom. Um, so that suggests a bit of um, a bit of friction maybe, which is, pro is more in keeping with an angle they took on the TV show, whether it's an angle that's true to the saga is another matter um if you watch a lot of content on youtube and sort of norse uh, family uh, uh, details and that loyalty is a massive massive thing so it's one of those interesting takes that marries up more with the TV show Vikings than perhaps the sagas does. Um, make of it what you will. Um, I mean, for example, in this version, Einstein is loyal to Ragnar and is defending Uppsala against Ragnar's sons, um, where you don't have that in the saga. He's just sort of... A king that the sons of Ragnar go to sort of deal with um, which is an interesting twist also in this version Einstein doesn't have a magic cow um, which is a shame because I love that part in the saga of Ragnar Lothbrok because th there's a certain theme within the Norse world where cows have a lot of power and this in particular as a tale particularly in the saga is is almost amusing in some parts and it also just reflects that when it when the sons of Aslag go to avenge the sons of Thora their stepbrothers um they have they have to deal with the magic cow and Ivar comes up with the solution to it. Um it's, I don't know. It's where sort of the saga probably tells a, a better story, a better saga. Well now the next difference is in the tale it says that Ivar founds York. The land he claims from King Ayla is York and not London. Um, that's probably more acceptable than in the saga. However, as included in Ben Wagner's notes, it's 
neither of those places were founded by Ivar. However, that's the the take on the story. Um, finally, the tale sort of veers off to cover descendants of the sons of Ragnar. However, Randolin Aslug still continues to be a presence in the tale. Um, obviously, she fosters one of the daughters of a descendant. Um, and this ties in almost with the saga of Ragnar Lothbrok, because Aslag is not killed. Um, this is a massive, massive difference to the TV show. That's why in most of my videos you'll see a hashtag of justice for Aslag, because the TV show does Aslag dirty. Aslag is in the stories in this story and in the saga of Ragnar Lothbrok immensely immensely brilliant I think um, and that's why you'll always see a hashtag justice for Aslag because I understand and I've said this in videos I understand people like the depiction of Lagatha and hate Aslag because they blame her for that marriage coming to an end when that's unfair. Finally, this tale ends with the introduction or commenting on Harold Finehair, um, who obviously first king of all of Norway, which is a nice way to round off the tale um, because that's kind of the, the legacy of Ragnar Lothbrok. So, damn, these are my notes. Um, and obviously, as said, I highly recommend this book by Ben Wagoner. Really good translator of of the sagas and other stuff. I've got a few of his books. Uh, I really recommend them. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Do take care. Goodbye.